The temporalis muscle has a broad attachment here on the side of the skull. You can see that the muscle itself is a good sized muscle, even though it's flat. It then becomes a tendon, tucks under the zygomatic arch, which is your cheekbone, and you can see it's been cut here so you can see the muscle more clearly. And then it inserts into this process, which is called the coronoid process, and that's part of the jaw, the lower jaw, the mandible. The muscle, therefore, when it contracts, will pull upwards and it will close the jaw. We've talked about the problems that would set pain off and set triggers off in the muscle. We'll now look at the triggers, and in fact, there are four sets of triggers, and they're very interesting. The first is right in the front of the muscle here, and this will refer pain in two places. The first is it refers pain up here, around the trigger and forward into the temple. But this is the interesting bit. It also refers pain down into the teeth at the front. You may have a slight sensation coming down, but you may just feel the pain in the teeth in the front. The second trigger is slightly further back, like this, and it refers pain up into this area here and into these teeth. And again, you may have a small sensation. The third trigger, which is further back here, will refer pain into the back teeth, like that. You may also get pain coming up the top. And finally, the last trigger, which is towards the back, just gives you pain around it in that area. So you get these fascinating referral pattern of pain up into the temporal area and down into teeth.